Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Hello. Uh, good, teacher. Excellent. And you? Great, thanks for asking. How was your weekend? Mm, it was good. All right, nice. And you guys, how are you today? How do you feel? Uh-huh. Anyone uh, there? You. Hello, yeah. Carlos. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, how do you say sudando? <laughs> Sweating. <laughs> really? Is it is it raining there? Yeah, yes. Uh, mm, 20 minutes ago. Oh, so yeah. just a little bit. Oh, it was under. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe maybe later it rains a little bit more. Yeah, <laughs> I hope no, I have the problem with connection. <laughs> yes, I hope so. So, guys, I know that in some cities it's raining, right? But I hope nobody has issue with that. I hope that the connection doesn't fail for anyone. So we can complete the class with any issue because today is a special class. What happens today? Why is it special? Today, basically guys, we are finishing the level number four. So you did it. Congratulations, everyone. We are finishing the level intermediate four. So you ready for the next level? Everyone? Yes. Or of do you course. or do you want to repeat intermediate four? Not right. No. Oh. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. That's good. Okay. So today, guys, we are going to uh, practice a lot again, okay? So I expect to you guys uh, speak and prove that you are ready for the next level. I still can reprove some of you. So if you don't participate, hmm, I will lower some points, okay? So we are going to start. Thank you so much for being on time, everybody. Thank you so much for the ones who already has the camera on. Actually, I can see only Osman and Rafael. Thank you, guys. And the other ones, I want to see you guys. Thank you. I can see Lorena now. Welcome to the class. All right. How was your weekend, guys? What do you do? Anything interesting during the weekend? Anyone? <laughs> I have visited my mother. Where Where does she live? Uh, I went to Mexicanos. Ah, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. And you guys, anything interest interesting during the weekend? Well, I I ride my new motorcycle to oh, the God. Evil Doors. <laughs> To the ah, evil doors. <laughs> ah, evil doors. All right. Yes. And how did you feel? Um, well, it was feel great. <laughs> okay, nice. I'm glad for you. So in Thank that you. case, guys, um, when we are talking about proper names, we don't change the. Uh, it's not yeah. necessary oh. to translate it. So you can say, "I went to La Puerta del Diablo." Right, easy. Okay. You don't need to change it because it's a proper name. Okay. And you guys, Osman, Lorena, anything interesting during the weekend? Good evening, teacher, everybody. In my case, um, nothing interesting. I have I had to work uh until until noon. Ah, okay. And then uh, we went uh, we went with I went with I went 
with my family to San to Santana City. Okay. Uh, in the in, in the afternoon, come back at home. All right. Okay. Lorena, how about you? Do you do anything interesting? In my case, uh, I visit my uncle uh, on Chalatenango. I uh, drove around six hours and the raining are complicated. Oh yeah, the weather, right? That's true. All right, well guys, I hope you had a nice weekend. Remember that today the week is short, okay? This is the last day and later guys, you go on vacation. Do you already have plans for this vacation? Yes. I think Rafael is sad because he's not going to have classes on vacations. Right? But I be strong. Uh huh. Thank you. Yeah, let's try. Let's try to be strong. Any plans for this weekend, guys? Will you go to what is the name of the amusement park that is in the stadium? I don't remember that. Um, the ones like in my uh, in my case, teacher, uh, uh, I'm going to take rest in my hand, mm. but uh, I, I'm thinking about go to mountain, any mountain. Okay. Yes. I hope right. I hope get there uh, Wednesday Wednesday to Friday. Okay. And Saturday and, and Sunday is very crowded. I don't I don't like. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So everybody please just be careful. Okay. If you want to stay at home, let's do it. It's safe, sir, right? So and... this day is sorry, teacher. No, go ahead. This, this day, uh, I went to Caluco. Do you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I recommend you. It, it's a simple place, but but it's uh, it's, it's, it's nice. Uh, if you had a good time with with your family, you you can spend a, a good time. Uh, the the water is is very um, fresh. Natural, natural. Yeah, I remember I was there. Let's see. I went when I was a little younger. <laughs> I yes, think that it, I was 18 when I went there. Yes, it is, it's a beautiful place and no, nothing expensive. Uh, nothing expensive. We, yeah, we, can, yeah. we can go there. Yeah. I okay. recommend you. Nice. Actually, yeah, I liked it. The place is beautiful, but I had a bad experience when I were there. <laughs> I I can what? swim, actually. I'm very good at swimming, but that day, I don't know what happened, and, and I was about to die. <laughs> and, oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I never came back there, <laughs> because of that. I feel like kind of a scare, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, everybody, welcome to the class. Let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. Again, we have a lot of practice to do, especially reading and speaking. Okay, so I hope you're ready, guys. Can you see the presentation, everybody? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, today is July 31st. Basically, guys, we are ending the level and we are ending the month too. So, uh, congratulations again look at this one you are finishing the level number four so good job you did it i know that is not easy guys the schedule is difficult to be connected two hours every day is difficult but you did it okay so remember that you are starting a new level okay so i expect that in the next level you always do your very best, okay? Now, do you remember the topics that we studied during this level? Which topics do you remember? Uh, 
distribution channels, teacher. Very good, yeah. Repeal. Repeal. Which one? Three peels. Uh huh. Very good. Seven hours. The what? Seven. The seven Army. hours. Correct. Simple past. Simple past. What else? Connectors. Which one? Connectors. Connectors. Yes. Adjectives and adverbs. Very good. Yes. Certain and uncertain phrase. Very good. I see that you remember many topics. Nice. So, how do you feel with the simple past? Do you think that you got it or do you still need more practice? In my opinion, teacher, I, I need uh, still in practice still my practice in more practice okay and you guys how confident do but, you feel but you? this level teacher um help me helps me uh, uh to practice that's great that's great and i now, agree i agree with kevin ah uh, very good very good i'm glad i'm glad that this level helped you guys so remember during this vacation, <laughs> I know it's vacation, but at least try to take five minutes every day to review, to practice. So when this next level starts, you still remember the information. And simple past is something that we can continue practicing from now and forever, <laughs> okay? So you don't forget it. Well. Now, for this class, this is the last class, guys. It's the last topic in the unit number four. And the topic is identified inventory management crisis. So we have been talking about the inventory management, um, some tips that we can do in order to have a good management of the warehouse. But sometimes <laughs> there are always some crises. There are always some problems that we can find. And that is what we are going to be talking right now. So I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Yes, only one, please. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Okay, class objective. Participants will be able to identify the main ideas and key details in a passage, passages about an inventory management crisis. Thank you. Yes. So, guys, we are going to have a reading practice. Okay. So, the idea is that you understand the passage. And remember that what I always said when you are reading, the key is to understand the keywords find the key words. Right, so let's start with these questions. Would you guys willingly do business with a company that caused you a bad experience in the past? So imagine, for example, that you go to a restaurant. If you had a bad experience in that restaurant, Will you go again to that restaurant? What do you think? Yes or not? Maybe depend that which is the situation. For example, I have a problem some years ago mm -hmm. uh, in salad uh, found, uh, how do you say, gusano? Oh my gosh, a worm? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but is I believe that the lettuce, lettuce, yes. But maybe I return the restaurant, but I never uh, asked for a salad in this <laughs> restaurant. Oh my goodness! Okay, that's a good idea. Imagine it's maybe the situation. Mm -hmm. How about you guys? If you had a bad experience 
in a company, I mean, in this moment, we are talking about restaurants. So if you had a bad experience in a restaurant, will you go to that restaurant again or not? Never again. What do you think? Uh huh. Anyone? Let's participate, everyone. Okay, imagine that you have a situation, a bad situation, for example, with some companies. Imagine, for example, in El Salvador, we have different companies that offer internet, right? If you have issues with the company that offers internet, will you continue with the company or will you change? What would you do? Uh huh. Anyone? If I don't have volunteers, I will be asking individually. Will you continue with the same company? Yes or no? Oh my gosh, nobody wants to talk? <laughs> okay, listen, uh, I will be asking individually, but guys, it's the last class. You have to prove that you are ready for the next level, okay? You have to prove that you can speak a lot, so please, let's try it again. Uh-huh, anyone? Will you continue working with a company that offers you a bad service if you had a bad experience or not anymore? No, teacher, I believe not, no, nobody continue with a company uh, that offer bad service uh -huh. or, bad, or, or, or bad conditions. Sounds good. This is like what the example that your classmate provided, right? Imagine if you find something weird in your food, <laughs> I think nobody will return there. So that is basically what we are going to be discussing right now about when a company has issues and the consequences that it may have, okay? But before that, guys, yes? Um... Uh, for example, uh, five years ago, uh, I I had working in Nicaragua. Okay. Uh, uh, in in this company, uh, I had a good, how is this a good, good, good position. Okay. Yes. I was a manager manager plant plant, plant manager. Uh, the plant uh, was uh, was small around around 400 people mm -hmm. but but uh, uh, the environment the envir uh, el ambiente laboral environment Enviro uh, environment the, uh, that that's that thing didn't good the okay. environment did, didn't wasn't. what wasn't 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 good wasn't, wasn't good uh, 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 was a uh, um, but uh, sit, but situation uh, the the pay the pay is very good teacher very good okay. but I understand but but uh, understand something the money can, the money can buy everything totally. like, uh, I have to stop and think uh, what I what I what I what I want no uh, what was like more important for you right? yes 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 okay uh, and, and because in, in in this situation uh my family was uh was here in the suburb in i <laughs> in nicaragua yeah uh, I, 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 I don't like that i, I, I feel very bad but uh, mm -hmm. for that um i i have to decide that's yes. true priorities that's yes, priorities. Okay. So you see, sometimes there are issues, and that is what we are going to be talking right now. What do we do? The consequences and the reasons why a warehouse can or a company can have some 
crisis. But before that, guys, to, uh, remember that today is the last day and every time that we are finishing levels, remember that we have a survey, yes? So we are going to complete the survey. Go, please, to WhatsApp group. On WhatsApp's group, they sent a link, okay? I'm resending the link, please. And that is the link for the in-support um, survey. Open up the link, please, and you will see this survey. It is important, guys, to everybody do that. So please open up the link. And we are going to answer all of these details. Right the now, first, could you? Yes, right now. We have to do it okay. right now, please. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Open up the link. I resent the link on WhatsApp group. I'm going to send it here on Zoom for the ones that are here. So you can go to the chat. And in the chat, I'm resending the link too. Open up the link. And the first question that appears there, guys, is that you need to type the number of this course. I'm going to resend it on WhatsApp group and you can copy and paste exactly as it is, okay? With all the numbers, with all the dash and everything, okay? That is la orden de inicio, okay? Copy exactly as I am sending it. That is the first question. Okay, esa es la orden de inicio. I already sent it on WhatsApp's group. So you can copy and paste it exactly as I'm sending it. Also, I'm sending it here in the chat if you want to see it here. Everybody has to complete this survey, please. Do it. If Anyone has issues with the link or something, please let me know. The second aspect that you have to complete is the full name, okay? So please write your full name exactly as in your DUI. Be careful with the typing. You have to add your email, okay? The email that you share here in the program. Don't forget guys to add your phone number, please. So this is basically your personal information, okay? In the number nine, it says the name of the company who is teaching you, okay? In that option, guys, I'm sending the information to. In the name of the company that provides you the classes, I'm going to send that information on WhatsApp's group. You have to pick the name Inglés Corporativo. Look at this one. I'm sending the information to, so. You can check WhatsApp's group, everyone. And also I'm going to send it here in the chat of Zoom. Okay, that is in the question number nine. Then in the question number 10, it says the name of the course. The name of the course, everybody, is Inglés Intermedio Modulo 4. Okay, that is in the question number 10. Inglés Intermedio, Módulo 4. Okay. 4 and 5. I'm sorry? 4 and 5, Módulo. No, 4. En el nombre del curso, everybody, is Inglés Intermedio 4. That's it. Then you just need to answer the survey that is there. Les va a pedir la fecha de inicio, okay? 
This level started, guys, uh, July, no, sorry, June 26. And it ends in, let's see, let's see, it is ending on July 31st. Okay. Teacher, teacher, can you repeat a uh, uh, date? Uh, okay. Empezamos el 26 de junio, June 26. June 26. Yes. Okay. We finished July 31st. I'm sending all the information on WhatsApp group and also guys, I'm sending the information here on Zoom. So those are the informations that you need to put there. The rest of the answer guys are totally personal. At the end of the survey, when you finish, please don't forget to take a screenshot. Okay, todos tienen que tomar una captura de pantalla cuando ya hayan terminado. Cuando ustedes le den enviar o submit, les va a aparecer un mensaje like thanks for answering the survey and blah, blah, blah. You need to take that screenshot. Ahí tomen el screenshot, please. And you need to send it on WhatsApp group with your full name. All right, please. Remember that um, the question 15 and the question 16 are optionals, right? Imagine that if it is another course that you would like to take or something that catches your attention, you can write it here, okay? If you have any comments also, you can write it there. But please everybody, don't forget to send the screenshots. If you have questions or if there is something that you don't know what the answer is or what you need to write, tell me, please. I can see two classmates already sent the screenshot. Don't forget to add your full names, okay? Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Kevin. Very good. If you have questions, let me know, please. If there is something that you don't know how to do it, tell me. It's necessary for everyone. Everybody has to do the survey, okay? Everybody. Because the survey has to be today. Tiene que llevar la fecha de hoy, por eso es que es importante que todos la hagan. Okay? If you have questions, just let me know, please. Okay, I can see some people already finished. Very good, thank you, excellent. Don't forget to add your full names. If you have questions, just let me know. Very good. Okay, I can see, let me see how many people I have ready. One, two. Okay, I can see eight people already finished the survey. Thank you guys, very good. The one who hasn't finished, please hurry up. You have to finish. If there is a question, if you don't have the answer for one of the aspects that is asking there, tell me, I will help you with that. Don't forget to add your full names. Very good, excellent, okay. Okay, 
Meanwhile, your classmates are finishing the survey. I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present, please. Ana Lorena. Ana Lorena. Okay, yeah. Present teacher. Thank you, very good, okay. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Elias Neftali. Well, he's listener. Okay. Um, Eulice Torre. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador. Jose Salvador. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Josman Atilio. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Present. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Um, Santiago Roberto. And uh, Wilber Alberto. Present. Hey, I can see a little parrot over there. <laughs> yeah, he, she likes to uh, stay with me. <laughs> okay, it's dirty. I like it. Okay, well, did everybody already finish uh, the survey? Yes? Yes, done. I can see 11 guys. I can see 11 surveys, so please, for the one who has uh, anything, you have to do it today. I don't finish, teacher. Okay, no worries. I work. have a problem. Okay, continue, continue. Okay. Listen, um, para los que no han terminado la survey, or si tuvieron algún problema, or something, I mean, continue doing it. The important thing is that you do it today, porque la survey registra la fecha en la que se hizo y tiene que quedar con la fecha de hoy. Okay, so para los que no han terminado, continue with the survey, but do it today, please. Okay, well, we were talking, let's continue, guys. We were talking about when some companies have some crisis, all right? And we were discussing if you will continue with a company if you had a bad service or if you had a bad experience, okay? Some of your classmates said that, yes, maybe they will continue depending on what kind of issues you had. Some of your classmates said, no, I will never continue if I had an inconvenience, okay? So we are going to read an article about this situation, but before that, we are going to verify the vocabulary, okay? Teacher. Yes? What do you mean willingly? I'm sorry? What do you mean? Willingly, the work? Oh. Uh, willingly is like if you uh, want. Si tienen como la disponibilidad o la intención. Okay? okay. In this case, it's like... It's just like uh, uh, estar de ganas. Mm, o tener la voluntad. Mm -hmm. For example, in this case, if I say, will you willingly do business, this is like ustedes eh, estarían voluntariamente estarían uh -huh, o con toda la disponibilidad con toda la voluntad de hacer negocios ta, 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 ta. ok that is the meaning of willingly yes, got it ok, okay. so eh, let's see the vocabulary we are going to find these words in the article. So let's see if we remember the, uh, the meaning for one of these ones. If I say out of stock, what is that? What is the meaning of out of stock? No disponible. 
I'm sorry? No disponible. Very good, yes. We don't have more of that product. This is like, for example, when you go to the supermarket and you want to buy toilet paper and there is not more toilet paper. So that means it's out of stock. Very good. Nevertheless, can you give me a synonym for the meaning of nevertheless? However. Yes, very good. Nevertheless is exactly as if we say however or but. Now, make waves. What is that? What is the meaning of make waves? Any idea? Imagine that I say, um, I have a student, you know, that student is very rebel, right? <laughs> so this student is always making waves. So what do you think? What is the meaning of making waves? It's like problem. Yes, that's making problem. exactly in this case, guys. Making waves is like a colloquial expression that means making problems, okay, or generating, creating problems. Okay, do you know someone that is always making waves in your company? Yes, no? Okay, so is it clear the meaning of make waves? Yes? Everybody, is it clear? Maybe problematic. Basically, but not only problematic, guys, this is like create problems. Um, generate problems, generate difficult situations. That is the meaning of make waves, okay? Now, the next one, mismanage. What do you think? What is the meaning of mismanage? Maybe bad handle? Yes, that's correct. Mismanage, guys, is basically a bad managed, okay? When you had a um, deficiency handling or something, a bad uh, administration, okay? That is mismanaged. Then we have shortage. What is the meaning of shortage? When there is missing something. Very good. Imagine, for example, guys, that um, in the desert, in Sahara Desert, right? Do you think that they have water in the desert? No. No. no so what happens there? In the desert, they have a water shortage. That means that they don't have, oops, they don't have water, okay? That is the meaning of shortage. It's when you don't have product. Or if you have, but it's little. Got it? Teacher, yeah. mm -hmm. can you repeat the pronunciation? Shortage. 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 Yes. Shortage. That's the one. Okay, thanks. Very good. Then we have worsen. What do you think, guys? What is the meaning of worsen? Any idea? The things go bad and go bad and go bad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
Do you remember, guys, bad is an adjective. What is the comparative form? Worse. Exactly. We say worse. So in this case, worse is the adjective. If you say worse and worse and is a verb. Okay? So for example, um, imagine that someone is sick, right? And you say, hey, how does she feel? Ah, she worsen. Or we can say, ah, she or her health is getting worse. So you can use the adjective or you can use the verb. Is it clear the meaning of worsen? Yes? Yes. All right. Then we have forecast. What is the meaning of forecast? Any idea? So we, when we estimate something in the future. Very good. That's correct. For example, and the most common is the weather, right? We have the weather forecast. That means like a prediction about the future. Ah, for tomorrow, it will rain. Okay, that is the weather forecast. Is it clear, the meaning forecast, everybody? Yes? Yes. Okay, then we have core. What is that? What is the meaning of core? Mm -hmm. Would it be um, the most important of something? Yes. Look, core can have uh, different meanings depending in which context we are using that word. For example, core, as your classmate said, is like the principle, okay? The most important thing of something. Also, it can mean the center, okay? For example, imagine that I have an apple, okay? Imagine that this is an apple, okay? And here is the center. This is the core, okay? The same happens with our planet. This is our planet. In exactly in the middle of the planet, we have the core. So the core, guys, is the principal, the most important thing or something, but also it means the center. Got it? Is it clear, everybody? The vocabulary? Yes? Okay, let's see if you remember it. What is the meaning, guys, of shortage? Uh huh. What was shortage? When I can find any, uh, sometime anything. Ah, very good. The lack of something, right? When we don't have more of that product. What is the meaning of mismanaged? Everyone, do you remember? Mm -hmm. uh, bad handle. Which one? Bad handle. Correct. Very good. Mm, I can see Lorena remembers the vocabulary and the rest of you guys. What is the meaning of make waves? Do you remember what was that? Making trouble. Pretty yes, pretty good. And um, forecast? Uh, it's relative to the weather, but can be applied the, the, the word uh, with a uh, calculus. Mm -hmm. Predictions, 
right? Yes. Exactly. Pretty good. That's the vocabulary. Okay, we are going to see this vocabulary in the next reading practice. We have a very famous supermarket, Walmart. Have you ever heard about Walmart? Have you ever gone there? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Did you have a good experience or bad experience? Uh-huh. A good experience. Good experience? Okay, very good. So now we are going to read an article, guys. And in this article, we are going to listen, well, to read some of the experience that the customer are having in Walmart, okay? So please pay a lot of attention about the reading because later I will ask him question, okay? Uh, let me open up the article so you can see it bigger. I will need people for reading, please. So everybody, let's be ready to participate. Who wants to start? Who wants to start reading? I have the first paragraph over here. Who wants to read? If I don't have volunteers, I'm going I to- I will try it. Thank you, go ahead. Out of stop problems? Walmart had them too, with over uh, 11,000 stores in 27 countries and an average of uh, 32 billion on inventory. Walmart supply chains is an expressive logical accomplishment. Thank you. Okay, look at these guys. In how many countries can we find Walmart? In how many countries? 27. 27 countries. So is this a small or a huge company? A huge company? Definitely. Look at this one. How much is the money that they have in the inventory? 32 billion. Imagine. Look at this one. It's not saying millions. 32 million is a lot, but it says billions. So that's huge. That's a lot of money, All right? And even though, look, what kind of problems do they have? They, they don't have product. Exactly. Enough product. Enough product. They are out of stock. So how is that possible? Okay, let's continue reading to find it out. I need someone else, please, to continue reading. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Nevertheless, Walmart's out of stock problem has been making waves in the present years. Analysts have attributed Walmart's problem to mismanage inventory. Walmart logistics are calculated uh, with extreme precision. They spit the meticulous details that goes into optimizing Walmart process. Many shoppers were still not getting the experience they expect from the retail store. Thank you. Okay, look at this one. So it says that Walmart has out of the stock problems, okay? So imagine how is that possible that a huge company like Walmart has these kind of issues? Hmm, but which one is the reason? According to this article, one is the reason attributed to this problem. What is the problem? What is the reason of the out of the stock problem? Mismanage inventory. Yes. That means 
bad administration, right? In the inventory. That's why, guys, look at this one. Inventory management is very, very important. So basically, guys, the calculation is not so good, right? I mean, they are having some issues with the manage of the inventory, okay? And it says that the shoppers, I mean, the people, the customers, they are not getting a good experience, okay? So they are having crisis. Now, let's continue reading. Uh, let's see, oops. Someone else, please, who wants to continue reading? Only one, please. Me, teacher. Yes, please. If it's not on the shelf, I can't buy it. A customer said in an interview, according to insiders, there were many cases where stock was available in storage, but due to shortage of staff, it got delayed for moving out of the stock floor, out, out of the shop floor. Thank you. Okay, pay attention to this paragraph. This paragraph is really important. It says, uh, this customer said, if it is not on the shelf, I can't buy it, okay? That means that when you enter to Walmart and you see the shelf in, in the aisles, you can find the product, right? But what happens? It says that they have the products available, but the product was in a storage. If they have the product, if they have a lot of products in the storage, why they cannot have the products on the shelf? What was the reason? Mm -hmm. Do they have enough staff? Yes or no? They don't have employees? Very good. They don't have enough employees enough employees employees exactly it says that they have shortage of the stuff so imagine this is kind of funny because they have a lot of product the problem is that they cannot move the product quickly right so you go to the supermarket and the products are not on the shelf the product is in the warehouse, right? In the storage. So that is the reason. They have shortage stuff. So that is a huge problem, okay? Now, what is going to happen here? I need another please for reading. Someone else, please? For me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Customer probably stop it shopping at Walmart because of bad services and empty, how Shelf. pronounce that word? Shelves? Mm -hmm. Shelves and, man and management worsens the problem by further counting back the stock to save in cost. Thank you. So imagine guys, what would you do if you have this experience? Imagine that you go to Walmart and you see that the shelves are empty. So will you go to Walmart again or would you prefer to go to another supermarket? What would you do? Uh-huh. Hello. It depends. It depends because if they don't have anything, <laughs> I will not go there. But I always ask for the for the employees when I when I don't see something in the shelf. Mm -hmm. I always ask like, uh, "Hello, do you have this product?" 
uh, in storage or in the warehouse uh, because sometimes that happens that they don't bring it to the shelves so i always ask it for the product so you have to wait for them to go and look for the product okay so imagine if you are in a hurry that would be a problem right because you have to wait for them to go to find the product and give it to you so that is the reason why the people is getting a bad experience here and the reason of these ones is look mismanagement and the mismanagement guys is getting worse okay and they are even cutting back a stop why why are they reducing the stuff look to save the cost imagine how much money are they generating do you remember how many billions 32 32 billions and even though <laughs> they are cutting stuff to save costs, imagine that is kind of funny and ironic. Okay, the last one, please, to read it, the last paragraph. One more volunteer. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. In this case, Walmart filed because they did it anticipate and forescat the effect, the effect that they are out of stock inventory liver world health on the customer experience even for guidance like walmart inventory management remains the core in their business thank you so imagine when they cut off the staff to reduce cost they didn't anticipate right they didn't predict that this is going to affect a lot to the customer's experience right so look at this one. As we have been studying during all this level, inventory management, it is important, yes or no? What do you think? It is important or not? Uh -huh. Totally, yes. Totally, yes. Imagine guys, even for these giant company as Walmart, even for them, they can have issues with the inventory management. And that is the most important thing, guys, in order to make this company work. So is it clear, everybody, this survey? Is it clear the reading article? Did you understand the main ideas? Yes? Yes. Only one says yes, and there is a few. Do you understand this article? Everybody, yes? Yes, I got it. Excellent. Okay, now that we already have a reading practice, it's time for, <laughs> can you see the presentation? Yes? Um, I can <laughs> see. <laughs> What do we need to do now? An exam? A break. <laughs> a break time. Cry. Ah, come on. A cry time. <laughs> now, listen, this is in order to see how much we understood from the article. Okay, we are going to have like a reading, a comprehension article, right? This is just to see how much you understood. So I'm going to send a link, everybody, and we are going to answer some questions, okay? This is a piece of cake. I mean, if you paid attention to the article, you are doing great. I'm sending the link here in the chat on Zoom. And I'm sending it on WhatsApp's group. So please everybody open up the link and we are going to complete the questions over there. You are going to find 
this questionnaire, the first things that you need to do is to write your full name, okay? Full name, please. So, for example, uh, Clarissa, let's have a Rivera Escobar, okay? Full names. And then you just click in next, okay? There you are going to find, listen, it's very short. It's only five questions about the article, okay? You just have to click in the correct option, the ones that you consider. For example, the question number one says, what is Walmart's average inventory? So option A, $32 million. Option B, $32 billion. Or letter C, $322 billion. So, you decide, okay? Click in the option that you consider is the correct one. So you just have to answer all of them. And then guys, click in send. When you send it, automatically you will see your answer. Okay, in this moment, I cannot see my score because I didn't answer any questions. Okay, go ahead. You will have five minutes to answer the questions, everybody. Let's see if you paid attention to the reading. Let's see if you comprehend what you were reading. Go ahead. It's not necessary to take a screenshot. Don't take the screenshot. When you finish, I automatically will see your score. Okay? In this moment, I can see two people already finished. Very good. Hmm. Okay, I can see very correct, some correct answers. Okay, be careful, read carefully the questions, everyone. You have five minutes, go ahead. Read carefully the questions, please. In this moment, I can see six people already finished. All right. Teacher, yeah. uh, uh, we, we just I need to finish the, the assessment and, and send. Yes. Okay. Answer the sentences, guys. Answer the five questions. Click in send. And automatically, I will see how many correct answers you have. At the end, you can see your score too. So you can identify how many correct answers you have. Go ahead, please. Everybody do it. If you have questions, just let me know. You still have time. Go ahead, read carefully.
Uh -huh, everybody, let's see. In this moment, I can see 10 people already sent it. I can see very good scores. So far, so good. But let's see. I can see only one 10. Mm -hmm. Reading comprehension, everyone. You see, it is very important to pay attention when we are reading. Okay. For the ones that already finished, easy or difficult reading comprehension? What do you think? Uh huh. Easy or Diffic difficult? Difficult. Difficult. Okay. And the rest of you guys? Mm -hmm. Easy or difficult? Easier, teacher. Easier, but uh, there is there is a question I confuse. Okay. Well, let's resolve the practice together. Okay, and you have to tell me what the correct answer is. Can you see the questionnaire? Yeah. Yes. Okay, in the question number one says, what is Walmart's average inventory? What is the correct answer, everybody? 32 billion, letter B. Letter B. B. Okay, very good. Number two, Walmart's problem is attributed to? Mismanage inventory. Let's see. Mismanaged inventory. Do you agree, everybody? Yes, I yes. Agree. yes. Totally. Definitely. Then it says, what caused delays to move the stock out of the shop floor? A shortage in staff. A shortage in, a, uh, in staff. Do you agree, everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Are yes. you sure? Totally. Totally. Remember what we were discussing. They have the product. The problem is that the product is not on the shelves. And the reason why it is not on the shelves is because they don't have enough employees to do that. Okay? Next one. How did the stock problem is getting worse or become worse? Mm -hmm. This situation is getting worse. It's not improving. So why? Why is getting worse? Mm -hmm. Any idea? ¿Por qué está empeorando la situación? En lugar de mejorar, están empeorando. So why? Because have less people or in the stuff okay so letter a b or c b letter b do you agree everybody yes yes they are basically remember what we read in the article they are cutting stuff in order to save cost to save money so that's why the situation is even worse okay and the last question why did walmart fail at inventory management why why did they fail they didn't forecast an issue they didn't forecast an issue. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. So, are you sure about your answers? Yes. Okay, let's see your score. Look, you have file five. All the correct answers are correct so that was the uh, the correct answer guys for each question 
Uh, do you have any doubt so far? Is there any question that you don't understand or something? Yes, no? Okay, so listen, reading is important, guys, okay? But don't read just to read. No, when we read, we need to try to understand what we are reading, all right? And try to keep the information that we are reading, okay? Very good. So if some of you feel that reading is difficult, that is what we need to practice more, okay? Any questions so far? No? Okay, now that we already practiced reading, let's practice something else. We are going to have a quick review about one of the topics that we studied during this level. And this is the first conditional. Do you remember the first conditional? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Okay, so in the first conditional, remember that we use first conditional to talk about the present, the past, or the future? The first part is a simple present and the next is a future. Very good. So because we use future, the first conditional, guys, is when we want to talk about possible situations in the future. So as your classmate said, we need two sentences. Okay, one sentence in simple present, one sentence in future. The sentence with the word if is will be in future or in present? In present. In simple present. Simple present. And the next sentence will be in? Future. 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 What is the auxiliary that I need in future? Will. Very good. So look, this is the structure of the first conditional. Can I switch the order? Yes or no? Yes. Definitely, yes. So let's have a quick practice. I have some questions here. Let's have the correct structure. For example, what, I'm going to use the subject do and the verb do, da, 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 if, it and I have the verb rain over here. So what will be the question? What do you think? What will you do? Okay. What will you do if it rains? Ah, very good. Rains this weekend. Remember guys that when we have the word if, that is the sentence that is going to be in simple present. And in this case, it's third person. So don't forget to add the letter S, okay? So I will be asking individually, okay? So I want to everybody participate just to see if you really remember the structure. The question number two will be for, let's see, Carlos Ernesto. The number three will be for Edwin. Oops. Um, number four, it will be for Carlos Dominguez. Um, I have Eulise with the number five. Then Josman number six, Osman, number seven, da, 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 Wilbur, number eight. So guys, let me know when you're ready and tell me what will be the correct question. Number two. Okay, Carlos Ernesto, go ahead. Um, what will you eat? What will you eat? Eat if you have only five minutes for breakfast tomorrow. Okay. Do you agree, guys? 
Is that correct? What will you eat if you have only five minutes for breakfast tomorrow? Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Next one, please. Who's ready? Okay. Uh, which place will you visit when you have your next vacation? Okay. Well, which place will you visit when you have your next vacation? Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Now, remember, guys, when we are talking about first conditional, we can use if, but also you can use when. when. It's when. not so common, but you can use it. Next one, who's ready? Carlos, Eulice, Guzman, Guzman, Wilbur? Yes, go ahead. What will you buy? when you go to shopping next time. Okay, what will you buy when you go shopping next time? Is that correct, everybody? Yes. Yes? In this case, actually, do I need the preposition to, yes or no? Can I say go shopping or go to shopping? It's no, okay. Maybe two forks. Well, actually, you have two options, guys. You it's can okay say because the verb is in ing form. That's correct. So you can say go shopping or go to shop. Both options are correct. Pretty good. Next one. Who's ready? Ready. Go ahead, Elisa. Uh, I, how will you feel if you meet someone interesting tomorrow? All right. How will you feel if you meet someone interesting tomorrow? Very good job. Who's next? Who's ready? Okay. Uh, number six. Mm -hmm. What will you do? Okay, what will you do? Uh, is your teacher um, be late? Hmm. Remember that the second sentence is in simple present. If I'm talking about teacher, what is the form of the verb to be that I need for teacher? Can I say teacher are? Teacher M or teacher is? Teacher, teacher is. is. Ah, teacher very is. good. So we need to say, what will you teacher. do if your teacher late. is late? Very good. Next one, Carlos or Osman? Uh, teacher, what, what will you do? Mm -hmm. If you is late for your next English lesson. Okay, if you is late. Okay, if the subject is you, can I use is? If I'm talking about you? Or what no. is the word to be? Are, are. Ah, very good. If you are. That is the one, exactly. So don't forget that, guys. We need to be careful when we are talking about the subject with the verb to be. So... What will you do if you are? are? That's the correct one. Uh, the last one, Osman, are you ready? Is Osman there? I think he's not there. Okay, I need a volunteer, please. Number seven. Maybe sure. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, bodies over and over. Go ahead. Who wants to try? What will? Uh huh. 
Uh -huh. What will happen? Okay. So what will if, happen? If you uh -huh. walk. Okay. Look. If you walk under a leather. Under a leather. I'm sorry. <laughs> that I'm is sorry. a one. So look at this, guys. Remember the structure. When we are talking about the first conditional, we need two sentences. One sentence in simple presence and the other sentence in future. Don't forget that the sentence that has the word if, that is the sentence that's going to be in future. Is that clear, everybody? Is it clear, the first conditional? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Definitely. Yes. Ready for an example? Yes. Yeah. Totally. I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure? Ready for an exam? Yes. I'm yes. sure about it. Okay. We already have um some reading comprehension exam. So now let's have a speaking exam okay we have here five questions guys pretty simple only five questions about the first conditional i wanted to answer giving the full sentence for example what will you do if it rains this weekend so if you say just mm, sleep is that a enough sentence is that a good answer only sleep, ah, uh, sleep. Yes, is that enough? No. no. No, I need details. Okay, if it rains this weekend, I will sleep. Also, I will watch a movie maybe. And remember guys that you can also answer in negative. Ah, if it rains this weekend, I won't do laundry, okay? I'm not going, I, I won't wash my clothes, for example. So try to give me as many details as possible. Remember, guys, we are finishing intermediate four, so I want you to talk a lot, okay? I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's group, everybody, because I want to everybody talk. And we are going to be in the breakup rooms. Please, everybody enter to the breakup rooms. Everybody participates. I want to everybody speak. And then when we come back, I'm going to be asking individually. All right. If you listen that your classmate is not giving enough detail, tell them, hey, okay, give me more. Okay, give me more. So try to give more details. Are you ready? Yes? Pretty yes. good. Okay, let's go to the breakup rooms. I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I'm I'm very tired. <laughs> yeah. Nah. I need uh, vacation right now. We need vacation. <laughs> yeah. We well, almost need vacation. Okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Hi Anna. Hello Pamela. Okay. Uh, ready? Yes. Okay. The first question is: What will you do if it if it rains this weekend? If it rains this weekend, I will stay at my home, <laughs> sleeping all day. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I I really want to do that. <laughs> so if it rains, that's what I will do. <laughs> it's a nice idea. What about you? <laughs> um, if it rains this weekend, I won't uh, go to the office. <laughs> um, because uh, I prefer stay. I prefer staying at home. And yes. when the day is not good, for example, when it's raining, uh, I prefer stay at home and rest. I agree with you. <laughs> uh, Anna, and you? Hello. If it rains this week, I will uh, use an um, umbrella because I need uh, to make some things outside of my house. For this reason, I I will use an um, umbrella. Okay. okay. The next, uh, what will you eat if you have only five minutes for breakfast tomorrow? Interesting. Mm -hmm. if, if I only have five minutes for breakfast, I will eat a fruit like a banana or or an apple i think <laughs> that's <laughs> a quickly breakfast <laughs> very strong yeah actually it's raining here too yes it's all the country how is the rain okay okay, okay. Con I'll continue for the okay. next okay. Okay. in my case if the rain rains this weekend the first <laughs> I will I will wake up later <laughs> okay it's raining in the morning <laughs> in the morning in the morning okay yeah. uh, I will I will watch the movie the Prime and the Netflix. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, With your girlfriend? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> With my wife. With my uh, wife. <laughs> my yeah, yeah. My okay. wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, it's important to uh, clarify this point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will I will have the movie uh, to the uh, to see the movie uh, familiar movie because uh, my daughter okay is a okay. <laughs> okay okay yeah maybe a uh, good we, movie with watching Barbie no no uh I don't like not much. Yeah. Similar okay. uh, the movie uh, elements. The wow. fire, the water. Mm. The, the Disney. The, nah, the movie elements. No. Ah, um, I remember that. Fire, yeah. water. Yeah. Uh, I don't like it because Mm. is the uh, the sex female male no definition oh, okay i uh, it's a, <laughs> other other, other yes. uh, <laughs> actually <laughs> the, uh, we we are mm, i don't know Bombardeados ah. for, for this topic. I don't know. No, a lot of 
bomb, false bomb, no, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bombing. You can say bombing. 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 Okay. That sounds okay. strange. Bombing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And after that? Uh, and maybe uh, I will cook the meal. Carne asada. I don't know. How do you say? Uh, roast beef. What? Roast beef. Roast beef. Uh, I will cook roast beef. With oh, my, beer. My <laughs> <laughs> okay. Really? Who wants roast beef? <laughs> Me? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. And you, uh, Rafael? Uh, if... If if it will rain in the weekend, um, maybe um, stay home all the day and like 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 yours yours like como ustedes what like uh, like you. So I thank you, and like you, I will watch some uh, some movie, or I don't remember the name of the movie. Are in the movie theaters right now, but it's in Barbie. Barbie. The uh, the history of the <laughs> the atomic bomb. I think it's Barbie, but he doesn't want to say. It. No, no, it's okay. part of the <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, it's, it's another guy. Um, Do you like Barbie? No, <laughs> sorry. I don't like that. <laughs> I, I'm sharing the, the name of the movie, but I don't remember the title. Um yeah. okay and continue. Let's watch a movie. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Uh the another answer a uh, question. Question. Okay, number two. What will you eat if you have only five minutes for breakfast tomorrow? Oh, a little bit. Air and water. Okay. I hate uh, eat very fast. Okay. I will eat. I will eat uh, cereal. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, three. What would you eat if you have, uh, Rafael? Does it um, the five answer? minutes? Yes. If I have a, a short time to breakfast, uh, I can't uh, eat because uh, if I eat very fast, uh, I will sick. I have a problem with my stomach. What will you buy if you go shopping this week? What will you buy if you go shopping this week, Edwin? Edwin, are you there? Okay. So, uh, if I go shopping, I, I will buy shoes and clothes and food. That is that I spend the money. Okay. Okay. Uh, Salvador? What I about you? Buy, I will buy a soft juice for me and for my, my son. Okay. 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 What about you, Wilber? If I go shopping, I 
I would like to buy a pair of shorts. What? A, uh, a like, repellent? Uh, repellent? Yeah, repellent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what about you, Lorena? What will you buy? Uh, I will buy uh, maybe a clothes. What kind? Because always is a good idea <laughs> by a clothes. Uh, <laughs> One I more. I and really some shoes. That. <laughs> okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Let's wait for your classmates. Let's go back, let's go back. Okay, time's up. Let's see, let's wait for your classmates. Some of them are still in the breakup rooms. Let's wait for them. Okay, let's see. Did your classmates give a lot of details, everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes Did yes. your classmate use correctly the structure of the first conditional? All condition, all condition. Ah. Everything, everything, everything was perfect, teacher. Ah, nice. So no Spanish, right? Nothing Spanish. Okay, I like that. My <laughs> classmate passed the next level. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Excellent, yes. guys. That's the idea, okay, that you can be ready for the next level. Yes. Okay, Um. as always, little details that we need to consider. For example, can I say in the weekend? Can I say that? No. Um, on weekend. On. Ah, on. very good. On. You can say on the weekend or at the weekend. Remember, American English, we say on. British English is more like at, it's, but never the, in. Uh -huh. Excuse me. I, 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 have, I, I be so confused mm -hmm. about good night. Uh, about this expression, uh, I don't know when I had to use uh, in and on. Ah, okay. Example, many, many people say uh, in the years, on the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what is the key? The key, guys, well, this is a very specific topic about prepositions. And I recommend you guys that during these vacations, you can have a quick review about it. Especially when we say at, in, and on, okay? For example, at, this is more for specific time, okay? Um, for example, if I want to say, what time is the class? Ah, the class is at 8 p.m., okay? That is a specific. If also when we are talking about night, we say at night. We don't say in the night. We say at night, at midnight, at noon. So those are specific time. In, on the other hand, in guys is when you are more general. For example, for month, right? But only when you say the month, you can say in September. No estoy dando fechas. I'm saying only the month. In September. Also, we can say it um, for the part of the day. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the evening. Except night. 
Remember, we cannot say in the night. We, we can say in the hospital? Yes. Or, or at the hospital? Both are correct, actually. That is another topic, guys. Um, both are correct because you can say I am at the hospital or I am in the hospital. The only difference is if you are working or if you are visiting or if you are the patient, okay? That is another topic, but I, I don't want to give so details because you can get confused. Um, but if we are talking about the time, these are the use that you can have. Um, and on, remember that on, this is for days. For example, you can say on Friday, Friday. okay? On the weekend. Every time that you are talking about days, you say on. On weekends, on Saturday, on Monday, or when you give dates, like specific time. So you can say on a July 31st. Look, I'm saying the month, but I'm saying the date. More specific. Mm -hmm. More specific. And these prepositions is when you are talking about time. But you can study these prepositions, guys, when you are talking about place. Because there are some scenarios when we can use at, as your class, uh, your, um, your classmate said, at the hospital. Yes, we can say it. When are we going to use in? For example, when you say in the bathroom, in my house, and on also, most of the time when we are talking about surface, on the table, for example, on the roof. So, there are different and very specific scenarios where we can use these prepositions. So my recommendations, please, guys, during vacations, try to take at least five minutes to review these prepositions. Okay? Thanks, Richard. You're very welcome. So remember, in the weekend, never. We say on. Then another detail, I hate it fast. Can I say that? I'm going to. Oh. Ah, I hate. To. Very good. Remember, separate the verbs. I hate to eat fast or what is the other option? I hate eating fast. Very good. That is the one. Then it says, I will seek. Is this one correct? I will be sick. Very good. Remember that sick is an adjective, is not the verb. So you can say, I will be sick. This is like, voy a estar enfermo, right? Or you can use the verb get. I will get sick. If you use get in this scenario, is like when you say, eh, me voy a enfermar, right? Or me enfermaré. I will get sick. So those are the verbs that you can use, but remember, you need the verb. Sick is just an adjective. Now, I want to ask a question. Can I say, yes, you have a question? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, when I using the B uh, on am are when 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 do you use it? Okay, remember that B guys is the verb to be sin conjugar. El cuando decimos B, right? Esto es como su forma infinitive, right? No changes. So, I have the auxiliary will. ¿Qué sucede con el verbo cuando tengo will? El verbo tiene que estar en? Infinitive. Infinitive. No changes. That's why we cannot say, ah, I will am. Can I say that? I will no. am? No. Because am 
no es infinitive. Am is in simple present. present. So cuando yo no tenga auxiliary, entonces sí puedo decir am. I am, you are, she is. Got it? Okay, yeah? thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions that you might have so far? Okay, look at the next question. You will go shopping. Is that correct? You will go shopping. Will you? No, will ah, you? Very good. Remember, if it is a question, the auxiliary goes first. In this case is, will you go? So be careful with the structure of the questions. Will you go shopping? Okay. Got it, everyone? Yes. Got yes. It. Any questions so far? Did you pass the speaking evaluation? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, I like Maybe that. I just, uh, I had a question to you. Uh -huh. About the sentences uh, who was talking Santiago and I don't remember who else. Uh, when you get, I think when you get, uh, it's more colloquial. For With example, for us, get you say yes, yes. Uh -huh. When you get, it, it is correct that no. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what happens, guys, is that get honestly get is a very difficult verb because. How many meanings do we have for get? Oof. Get has a lot. Too many. Yes, depending on the context. Now, my suggestion, y eso es algo que les puede ayudar mucho. Si ustedes tienen un adjetivo y quieren que ese adjetivo se vuelva un verbo, entonces ustedes le agregan get. For example, um, angry. Angry is an adjective or is that a verb? An adjective. It's an adjective. It's an adjective, correct. So I can say, ah, she is angry. Can you say translation, please? She is angry. Está enojada ella. Exactly. Ella está enojada. Brava. <laughs> but how can I say? Ella se enoja. Because look at the difference. The meaning changes. Ella está enojada es una cosa. Ella se enoja. Or in future, ella se enojará. How can I say that? Ahí entra el verbo get. If you say get angry, este ya es un verb. ¿Y cuál sería la translation? Enojarse. Okay. Ah, she will get angry. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Translation, please. Ella se enojará. Exactly. No estoy diciendo que ella estará enojada. I'm not using the verb to be. I'm using... Eh, ella se va a enojar también. Yeah. Puede ser. Yeah. Uh, 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 that's what I try to say. It, it, it sounds more colloquial, the verb get. Mm. Sometimes, I mean, it is not, no es que sea coloquial, guys. Basically, we can use get para darle action a los adjectives. So, for example, we can say get angry. Eh, ¿Cómo diría contentarse? He will get happy. Yeah, get happy. Entristecerse? How can I say that? Get bad. Get sad. Bad. Get sad. Get sad. Uh, yes. Right? Imagine if it is rainy and you don't have an umbrella. Mojarse. How can I say that? Get wet. Correct. So look, these ones are adjectives. Pero podemos hacer que se vuelvan verbs. Adding the verb get. Yes? Got it? Yes. Yeah, kind of, it is kind difficult. Of, kind of, but 
It is difficult, yes, and I totally understand. That's why I always said that get, it's a complicated verb. It is, believe me, because get can have different meanings depending on the context, okay? So it's complicated, it is, no doubt about it, okay? But little by little, we are going to be practicing this verb and learning different ways to use it. Now, before I continue, I'm going to check attendance again. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali. Okay. Eulice Torres. Present. Very good. Jose Salvador. I'm here. Very good. Josman Atilio. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo. Okay. Nelson Alberto. Present. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you. Pamela Carolina. Present. Very good. Rafael Alexander. Present. Thank you. Santiago Roberto. Wilber Alberto. Present. Very good. Okay. Let's have, oh my gosh, it's pretty late. Okay, let's have a, a, another practice, guys. Now, we already practice reading. We already practice speaking. Let's practice a little bit grammar. Let's see how much you remember. During this level, we were studying some nouns. We were studying the verbs, adjectives, and other verbs. So let's see if you remember. I'm going to show you some sentences. And you had to tell me what is the function that the word has. You had to tell me if it is a noun, if it is an adverb, a verb, or an adjective. Okay? I'm going to share with you the sentences. Look at the first one. I always go to the park on weekends. So the word park, what is that? Noun. Is that a noun? Noun. 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 Yeah. Now, totally. <clears throat> Pretty good. If I want to describe park, do I need an adverb or do I need an adjective? An adjective. An adjective. Adjective. An adjective. An adjective. adjective. Very good. Okay, the next sentence. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me. Me, teacher. Okay. I don't know who said me first. On cold, on cold winter days, I love to have a cup of hot chocolate. So the word cold, what is that? Adjective. Is that an adjective? Are you sure? Yes, teacher, adjective. Adjective, pretty good. That's the correct one. Okay, what is the next one? Volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Yes. Let me see. Let me see. How many hot dogs did your friend? How many dogs did your friend eat yesterday? What is the word it? Bear. It's a bear. 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 It's a verb. Okay, what is the past form of it? Eight. Okay. Eight. If I want to give details about it, do I need an adjective or do I need an adverb? I don't an understand adverb. the question, teacher. An adverb. If I want to give more details or more characteristics about it, I need an adverb. In adverb. this case, mm -hmm. uh, the adverb. Yes. Yeah. And now, according to the topic that we studied in the previous class, if I want to transform the verb eat 
into a noun, it is the action. The person who does the action, what is the noun? Remember suffixes. Eater? Eater, that's the one. So it is the action. Eater is the person who does the action. Very good, I like that. Next one, volunteer for reading. Quickly guys, we don't have a lot of time. Okay, I'm going to pick someone. If Roger. I... Yes, go ahead. Roger Bannister finished the mile race very quickly in 1954. Thank you. Okay, quickly, what is that? It is an adverb. adverb. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Totally. If quickly is the adjective, which one is the adverb? I mean, quickly is the adverb, I'm sorry, what is the adjective? Quick. Only mm. quick, yes, pretty good. Next one, please, volunteer for reading. Her father flies to many countries in the world because he is a pilot. Thank you. Father, what is that? Oh, no. Are you sure? Yes. Totally, that is the one. Okay, I will be asking individually. Let's see if you pass to the next level, okay? Uh, let me ask to Carlos Hernandez. Read the next question, mm -hmm. the next sentence, please. Uh, my sister is very smart. She go on A plus on all her tests. Okay, Carlos, what is uh, smart? Adjective. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you agree, guys? I agree. That is the one. Okay, Carlos, pick someone, please. Pick one yeah. of your classmates. Wilbur. Wilbur, read the number seven, please. Western Australia in the largest state in Australia. Okay, the worst state. What is that, Wilbur? Uh, it's a noun. Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. A noun? Yes? Yes. Yes. It is a noun. Very good. Wilbur, pick one of your classmates, please. Okay, go ahead, Pamela. Pamela, number eight. Go ahead. Uh, July is my favorite month of the year. Mm -hmm. What is favorite? Favorite. I think it's an adjective. An adjective? Are you sure? Mm, yes. And yes, it's an adjective. Very good. Pamela, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Jose Salvador. Okay, Jose Salvador, can you read the number nine, please? Stewart can speak Arabic very well because he lived in Egypt for a year. Okay, what is the word well, Salvador? Mm. An um, adjective. An adjective, are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, guys? Is that an adjective? Adverb? Maybe adverb. Okay, adjective or adverb? <laughs> 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 are you sure? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think it's an advert. Yeah, description, the action, the speak. Ah, good point. 
It is an adverb. Well is the adverb. Which one is the adjective? What? If well is the adverb, which one is the adjective? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo para well? Do you remember? Good. 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 Yes. Good. Good is the adjective that describes the noun. Well, as your classmate said, is the adverb that describes the action. Pretty good. Eh, Salvador, pick someone else, please. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Oh, but he already participated. Pick someone else. Lorena. Who? Lorena. Lorena, number 10, please. And we finish with this one. Go ahead. I don't think it was a difficult test. In fact, I think it was quite easy. Easy. What is that? An adverb. Adverb. Are you sure? I believe. <laughs> And you guys? I agree with her. Maybe adjective. Adjective. Okay, Carlos says that it's an adjective. Lorena and Wilbert says that it's an adverb. If you it's have, an if it's you an... have, if you have a mistake, you repeat intermediate level four. It's an adverb. Because... Modify the the verb. Hmm. Do you think that easy is modified in the verb? Or exactly. describe, or describe, describe the verb. Okay. <laughs> Carlos, what do you think? Uh, maybe adjective. Why? Uh, is this, uh, this description, uh, see description, the noun. Well, actually maybe. guys, look at this one. It's an adjective. Is describing the test. Easily is the adverb. So remember that easy adjective. Easily, that's the adverb. Okay. Be careful with that, guys. Unfortunately, we don't have more time. So if you feel that this topic, nouns, adjectives, adverb, is difficult, so let's review it. Please, on vacation, try please to take time to continue practicing this topic okay got it okay now got it. well guys okay, officially we just finished the pre intermediate four congratulations <laughs> we thanks teacher thanks <laughs> you're very welcome thanks guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. my pleasure and officially you go on vacation too <laughs> So have a good vacation, guys. Take care. Don't drink so much. And if you think, <laughs> don't drive. Uh, also, drink water. Drink water, of course. Um, guys, pendientes del grupo de WhatsApp. Ahí les van a estar dando los detalles para el inicio del siguiente level. Okay? Así que, remember, oficialmente regresamos de vacaciones el 7 de agosto, right? Así que pendientes ahí del grupo. Got it? Yes? Got it, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for all, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Bye. See ya.